everyone and welcome back to yet another episode of how to make game with Python and Pygame series. In this video we will add start and finish point of the game, implement some sound effects and even start implementing another level. If you skip the first three episodes where we implemented enemies and players movement with collision detection, make sure to check those out first. If you like this series, make sure to subscribe and press that bell icon so you'll be notified when new episode arrives. And as always, I'd be really happy if you smash that like button as well. Another reminder that all the source code can be found down in the description on my GitHub account. Now let's finish level 1. The last thing that we need in our game are sound effects and start and finish points of the game. The latter will be implemented by creating new class of field, which will accept arguments for coordinates, which is where our field is gonna be located, width and height, for the size of the field and color which will be set as green by default. Besides the constructor we need to define function for drawing the field. Since we want to display a rectangle we can copy draw function from players class. You can keep or remove the line for the border of the field. Do what suits you best. Now we can save our field.py file. In game.py we have to import field, from field import field, keep in mind the caps. Then we just need to initialize object of class field and set it to the positions we want. We will initialize two since we want start and finish point. Besides setting position for fields, we will also change initial positions of player and enemies so everything will be centered. You can change those values as you wish. And as always, we have to include field.draw function calls into our main draw function so it will be displayed in our game. We also have to change the boundaries of enemies since we change its positions. Now we can run our game and check out the result. As you can see we have successfully drawn the green squares which represent the start and finish point of the game. For now we will jump to the sound effect and get back to the fields later on the video. Before we start you have to make sure that you downloaded all the assets that are down in the description and put them in the same directory that you have your game.py. Since the game we are making is really simple we need only two sound effects for background music and for the death of our player. I put the WAV files in the description but you can create or find them yourself as well. First we have to define where our file is located so the game will know from where to play the sound effect. So for the fail sound effect type fail sound equal to pygame.mixer.sound and then the name of your file. And for the music type music equal to pygame.mixer.music and that load and as argument again send the name of your file. The background music can be played right after the initialization and loop through the whole game. To loop our background music type pygame.mixer.music.play and as argument set minus one, which stands for infinitive play of the music. Sound effect for the player hit must be played inside our condition in update function. Let's run our game now. As you can see, sound effects make game even more alive. If you're getting errors with playing sound, check your file format. MP3s don't work all the time. Try converting those to WAV format. As you can see, we have a problem with resetting the player's position. This is because we changed the initial positions of the player. So let's go to the player.py 
and change the position variables of x and y in the reset function. If we play our game now, you can see that the player resets itself to the start position. Next thing that we will add is image for the field where player is allowed to move. I already took screenshot from the original game. We will insert this image into our game. If you want different positioning of enemies or level itself, you will have to create that image yourself. Anyway, I will explain much cleaner way of level implementing in one of the next episodes. So first we have to load the image. Field image is equal to pygame.image.load and as argument we set the image name. Then we will have to set its scale. So again field image is equal to pygame.transform.scale and for first argument will be field image and the second one will be tuple of the scale of the image. I'll set 550 and 290. And last but not least, bleed it in draw function. So screen.bleed and first argument is field image. And the second one is the position where we want to bleed our image. Now if we run our game we can see the imported image. But the issue we are facing is that we can still go outside our newly defined field. We will fix that by changing player's move boundaries. In player.py file we have to change boundaries of player's movement. In move function, where we have conditions for left, right, down and up arrow keys, we also have window boundaries, which we set in second episode. We have to change those boundary values to match our image field. If you import a different image, you will have to adjust your values at this point. Now let's test our game. As you can see, our player is limited to move only inside the field we specified, which is the functionality we want. The last thing that we are gonna implement in this episode is checking if player have successfully finished level 1. We will use the same approach as we did for enemy collisions, so just add another if statement below that one for the enemies. So we will type if player.draw and then we will call function dot collide list and as argument we will pass again array and for now it will contain only one element and this element will be field finish dot draw. And if this condition is not equal to minus one, so our player is on our field finish, we want to print finished. So if you run our game now and try to finish level one, you will see that in console we get finish text printed out. So this is the first step towards progressing to another level and I encourage you till next time you try to do that yourself. As you can see we are making some serious progress in our game but it's not even close to finished since games like this can always be improved on. Make sure to don't miss next episodes and if you have any recommendations what to include in next ones make sure to comment down below. I hope you guys like this episode and I will see you guys next time.